I want to do a little demo on widgets. Uh, these are little screen elements that you can interact with. I want you to get a little bit of a feel for what they look like, how to lay them out, what your options are in particular with regard to uh, margin, border, padding. These are things that if you have any uh, UI experience, you probably know about already. Or if you just have experience in the world, you probably know what padding is. But if you're like me and you overthink everything, you're like padding, but is that padding inside? Is that padding outside? Does the margin, you know, where does that go? Uh, I always get confused. So hopefully this will serve to unconfuse you. So I have here uh, a very simple layout that's, uh, you know, just taken from uh, what Android Studio automatically generates. And we've got this text view. And I'm gonna go over to this design view a little bit, um, just to sort of show you, oh, you know, the how does uh, Android Studio think about a widget layout? So you have a text view, and you have these constraints, and, um, you know, you can edit these constraints, and you actually see sort of, this is the view of what you see is what you get, sort of what is your app going to look like, and this is a little bit sort of like the blueprint view which sometimes when things are all on top of each other, the blueprint view helps you um, see what's going on. So just grabbing this text view, um, you know, we can, we can go in here and we can add uh, some padding and let's add a whole bunch of padding and we can see what happens. So the padding is internal to the object itself um, and uh, you know, allows it to uh, be spaced from, from other things. So let's add, let's add another text view. And uh, we'll do a wrap content. And we'll do, oh, we'll add some text. Yes, give me some text. Um, goodbye. Spell correctly, by world, and we'll even do some text size. Um, okay, and we will do. Whoop, we will constrain the uh, start to the end of. Um, this guy, this guy doesn't have a, an ID yet. Oh, I don't know why default focus highlight enabled this. It was so exciting to the editor, but it was. Um, call this hello, and uh, we'll say, when you start me at the end of hello, and you know, right now this thing is looking a little wacky because um, some of the constraints are uh, different, um, you know, we're going to constrain the, and so there's right and left and there's a uh, start and end, uh, start and end work for languages that go right to left or left to right. And so they encourage you to use those. So we're going to say constrain the end to the start of ID and we'll call this goodbye. And, you know, and you can see how, you know, um, I write code and uh, you can um, do things in sort of a messy way and it's, it's perfectly fine. Right, and now, right now there's a, a red squiggle here which says this view is not constrained vertically at runtime, it'll jump to the top unless you add a vertical constraint. So we're not saying that, you know, um, what is the top of this constrained to? Is it constrained to the top of hello world? Is it constrained to the top of the parent? Um, you know, what should we, uh, what should we constrain it to? So let's, let's do constrain top, uh, let's constrain top to the top of uh, hello. Okay, and then it comes down here. And you can see there's sort of different sizes. And so um, if we do this uh, and we add, so we have padding here and if we add a bunch of margin here, so let's just add margin. And um, you can add for both padding and margin, 
If you just add margin, it adds it all in all directions. Or you can just add margin on the top, on the right, on the, on the bottom, you know, get the point. Uh, say 2dp, okay. And if we actually see what this looks like, it's going to look a lot like this. Uh, shouldn't be a big surprise. Oh, is there a problem? What didn't you like? Oh, um, there's a red squiggle because I didn't uh, properly uh, terminate my text view object in, uh, in XML. This little slash um, angle bracket uh, terminates uh, an, um, an object. Okay, that worked. And, you know, we have hello world, goodbye world, and they're in this sort of like wacky relationship because of how uh, the padding and the margin are defined. So here's a schematic, and there are plenty of these things on the internet. And again, if you're just sort of a reasonable person, you probably understand these things. But for any element, it's got a width, it's got a height, then it's got padding inside the element, but before the border. There's also a border width, so you can make, you know, borders to be thin or thick. And then outside the border, there's margin between this and any other element. And these are the basic um, sort of layout tools you have for widgets, things like buttons, text boxes, um, chips, er anything that you put in the, in the layout has a uh, margin and, and padding and a border. Um, the height and width, this um, for in school, and we learned Cartesian coordinates with zero, zero in the uh, lower left. For Android, zero, zero is in the upper left. And width increases in this direction, and height increases in this direction going down. So it takes a little bit getting used to, but it's not that big a change. So again, x increases in this direction, height increases going down. Um, that is uh, the um, margin padding. And then also we have uh, gravity. Um, so there's gravity and there's layout gravity. Actually, um, uh, layout gravity doesn't affect constraint views very much. Yeah. Yep, no. So, yeah, there is gravity, but you know what? Gravity in this case, I don't think um, makes a difference. Yeah, because all of the, the, the uh, pieces are constrained. Um, so, uh, you can uh, change, you know, change the constraints. Let's let's do let's do one one quick thing. So uh, we've constrained the start here, and we're going to constrain the end to the end of our parent. Okay. Um, uh, start to the end of this. This guy. Constrain. I'm going to strain the start to start of parent. Okay, yeah, and now we have what uh, we call a chain. So this, um, uh, so there's constraints um, vertically, but horizontally, there's this uh, element is. Let's let get rid of some of this padding. Um, this element is constrained to, uh, um, it's constrained to start against its parent, then it appears, then its end is constrained with this, this element's beginning, this beginning is constrained uh, to this element's end, and this is constrained uh, also to its parent. Okay? And that forms a horizontal chain, and there are different things you can do with chains. You can have them be evenly spaced, which is what they are here by default. You can have them uh, spread out, 
and spaced in between. You can have them all packed together. There are different ways you can tell Android Studio, once you set these things up in a chain, how you want them uh, to look. So widgets are our sort of simplest display elements. We lay them out in a constraint layout or a linear layout. In a linear layout, we use gravity. We didn't see that in this demo, but we've seen it in other examples. For a constraint layout, you set up these chains or you just constrain individual items in relation to other items or in relation to the parent. And then you can control how they look with some padding, some margin, and their borders. 